Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some huge news coming from the world of Bitcoin, Goldman Sachs and a legendary crypto trader, Arthur Hayes, who just flipped his prediction on where the Bitcoin price is headed. So, Bitcoin has had an interesting year. The price almost doubled since the start of 2024, but lately it's lost its momentum. What's causing the slowdown? Well, a lot of it boils down to concerns over the Federal Reserve's next move on interest rates. Traders are on edge, waiting to see if the Fed will help or hurt the market. Goldman Sachs analysts are warning that we could be in for a rough ride. They're saying that this week's job report could spark a stock market crash. If hiring numbers come in weaker than expected, it could signal that the economy is slowing down, leading to more uncertainty in both the stock and crypto markets. Scott Rubner, a managing director at Goldman Sachs, pointed out that a weak payroll report this Friday could trigger a correction and historically September has been a tough month for both stocks and Bitcoin. So what's next for Bitcoin and how will the Fed's decision impact the market? This Friday's job numbers are critical because they'll inform the Fed's interest rate decision at their September 17th meeting. Many expect the Fed to start cutting rates, which could calm the markets, but if the data is stronger than expected, the Fed might hold off, which could spell trouble for Bitcoin and other assets. Let's talk about Arthur Hayes, the co-founder of BitMEX and one of the most influential voices in crypto. Not too long ago, Hayes predicted a massive Bitcoin bull run starting in September, but recently he flipped his prediction. In a blog post, Hayes admitted that while he expected a flood of liquidity from the Fed, US Treasury and China, that might not happen as quickly as he thought. He's now saying Bitcoin could drop to 50,000 before we see any significant rebound. And he's not the only one signaling caution. Bitfinex analysts also issued a warning this week, saying they could see Bitcoin dipping as low as 40,000 in the short term. But there's still hope for Bitcoin. According to Goldman Sachs, the November election could act as a catalyst for risk assets like Bitcoin. Whether it's Trump or Harris that takes the White House, a post-election rally could set the stage for a major recovery in the markets. So what should we take away from all this? With the Fed's next meeting just around the corner and uncertain economic data ahead, we could be in for more volatility. But remember, Bitcoin faced challenges before and always bounced back. Keep an eye on the Fed's decision and the upcoming payroll numbers, as these will be key indicators for what happens next in the market. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. This is the Crypto Realm. Play hard, trade smart.